After a toughly contested victory for the Kenya Simbas in the first round of the Elgon Cup, all focus now shifted toward the return fixtures as the Cranes look to get even. And of course, with a number of changes made to the sides, well, it was bound to be an epic clash. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at how the action all went down. After grinding out a hard-fought 23-18 victory over the Cranes in Kampala, the 2017 Elgon Cup appeared destined to stay on the Kenyan side of the hill, especially if the previous encounter was anything to go by. The Cranes, however, were clearly on a mission to upset the form book, as was evident from the droves of fans that streamed into the match venue to offer their undying support. I hope the players are going to come out there, silence the Kenyan crowd, UG, UG, oi, oi, oi. Simba ni moje. No doubts were left of the visitors' intentions as they were fast off the blocks with the phenomenal Philip Wakorach powering the cranes to an early 10-0 score, catching the Simbas by surprise. Kenya's number 14, Darwin Mukidza, leading from the front, got the hosts on the scoreboard with a brilliantly taken conversion, which was followed by Jacob Oji's touchdown, marking the hosts' first try of the match. Sixteen thirteen in favor of the hosts is how teams took to the interval. The final 18 minutes provided some of the most interesting rugby action this side of the Sahara as the Cranes looked to have bagged the trophy after Michael Okorach dotted down following a quick interchange of passes which he then followed up with a conversion for a 7-point lead and a 51-49 aggregate. <laughs> 
Simbas then showed true grit as they piled pressure on the Cranes' defence and were duly awarded a penalty try courtesy of an infringement by the Cranes at the breakdown to bring the score to 33 all. A narrow escape for the Simbas as the draw ensured their continued dominance over the Cranes. <laughs> With lots of areas for the Simbas to work on, attention now shifts to the back-to-back -back home ties against Senegal and Tunisia in July. Yeah, look, I think the guys came out, uh, we're disappointed with what happened in Kampala. I think uh, the guys came out, they gave a good account of themselves. In the end, I don't think uh, a draw is what either team wanted, but um, you know, at the end to be on the road and part of the road trip to go to Senegal with a draw, we'll take it. We wanted to play territory. Um, we lost a line out here and, and, and Kenya attacked. And kudos to Kenya for not, for not giving up the fight to the last minute, which is good for rugby. And yeah, it's uh, one thing that we also need to pick as Uganda. We work hard on our set pieces, the scrums in the line out. But um, obviously today our defense let us down, uh, especially uh, kick chase let us down a bit. Uh, but now we know what to work on and um, yeah, but uh, I think it's a true reflection of the game. The draw today was a true reflection, so it's good. The game was very tough. They brought the game to us. We still had the lapses on our breakdowns and the defense. And we, I, I give credit to the boys. We managed to pull it off in the last minute. After these two games, two tough games, uh, we, have, uh, we have Tunisia next. Uh, at home, so we just need to get our points, uh, the points that we lose out today, so we need to get that points back uh, against Tunisia and we can't afford to lose, a or lose any more games in Nairobi now. Keep it Sports Central! Central.